So we've got this Asus. Very beautiful looking. Um, very popular. Um, it's about seven years old. UX 305F. UX is three, uh, 305F. So client tested their own power supply. Let's check it out. Make sure it is okay. So let's start with their power supply. Apparently it was working yesterday and it won't work today. Okay. Let's bring in the on-screen power supply, a benchtop uh, desk multimeter. Here we go. Let's check that in. And what do we get? 19.23. Okay. Before we put it in the system, let's have a look in diode mode. If there is a short with the motherboard. 19 volt to ground. Let's get a ground. I think there should be a ground. Nope. Okay. Okay. It's okay, that's ground. Yeah, we don't have a short on the main 19 volt rail. I mean, not direct, not direct to ground. Okay, let's have a look at this, what's going on. By the way, let's plug it in, see if we get any charging light or any indicator at all. We should always try that too. Ah, oh, okay, there's a blink. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of blinking. He wants to start, but he doesn't want, he can't start, okay. Let's have a look what's going on. Okay, so the PCB needs to be hot. If it's not hot, solder will not do its job. Okay. There we go. That is so strange. Okay, all right, so this is the one we're going to remove, maybe something fishy, I really don't Is this uh, another charger of mine, but not this custom connect? Look at that. Okay, let's try and see. It can't deliver the amps. That's the issue with the with the other one. Okay, and that's charging the battery. Okay, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.